Last episode, what happened? What was the most important thing? Um, there's more... Actually, the most important thing is that Japan is ready to go in into the gate now, right? Because for political reasons, we were kind of supposed to kind of be benched so that we don't just go in and resolve the situation that's going on. But we've had enough of it. We're going in. We're going to give him what, you know, democracy, freedom looks like yet again. Some of the other more important things that's happening with Itami's plotline is there's like these assassins being created off of those Chuni types that's easily, you know, convinced. And it's by some guy named like Pete or Pied Piper. I have no idea where the fuck we're going with the plotline for that because it seems like everything is focused on the Empire and basically um, the Empire. The King Zozal is just going crazy and just basically arresting everyone he wants because of the order. But Lele is apparently an Imperial, like she's a human that has ties to the Empire. Therefore, she wants to get summoned, I think. So maybe that's how we're going to tie in how Itami will show up at Prince Zozal and do all that shit together. I'm not really sure. I'm just ready for Japan to show up and just nuke them. Let's begin today's reaction though. These fucking idiots again? The cleaners, right? What the fucking broomstick wearing their fucking full-on fursuits. Like, what's going on? I thought they ran away. They're coming back to fight? Alright. Ah, the soldiers even think that this is wrong. It's bullshit. And off screen. So I guess we're trying to keep a tab on them to see if Pete Piper shows going up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's this? Is she the Piper? Wait, what? Pretend to be? What? She might not be a bad person. Hold up. She's actually cooking right now. This scheme is actually pretty smart. Who the fuck is this girl? This is the first time I'm seeing her though. Piper is a guy. Or... Wait... Is it though? These fucking dumbass goblins are getting baited. Wait! No, they think that they're doing the right thing, but they're getting tricked again because they're easy to convince. That's the exact thing that's happening right now. Hold the fuck up. And you know what be insane? It's like they just mentioned, right, who Piper is really is. You remember his face. Probably has no identity. Just like always like constantly shapeshift. I could believe that. But also on top of that, what if the Piper is Itami? Now, this is no classroom of the elite, but what if he's trying to put his own tent on fire to sniff out? No, there's no fucking way. There's 0% chance. These idiots got fooled again. Is this Piper in a different disguise or is Piper a group of people? Those gnomes though, holy shit, they're dumb. Four day time skip. Oh. She ready for that dissertation. Arpeggio, the big sis, bro. She fucking sucks, actually. Like, straight up. She's the worst sister. Yes. Shandy. The girl that was chasing after Piper just now. That was Shandy. Uh oh. There she is. Shandy's actually very cute. She's always fidgeting. She's always nervous. Nonra is also a puppet of the Piper. Okay. So it was an actual guy. Who could this be? Shandy put in the work, I'm proud of you, but I'm more interested in who the guy actually is. No, it's the thought that counts! Maybe you wasted it. Cow. Cope. Yes, now distract her with food. Good job, Shandy. Okay. Wait, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Just let them be tricked so they can work harder. As in, if they get tricked, then we resolve this. And then those kids, those boys, they learned that they got tricked and they would feel even more sorry and therefore they would work even harder is the idea. Yeah. 
そそのかされた人が他にもいるかもしれないわね。気を引き締めてかかる必要があるな。L sister, L sister. No, you're a brat. New drip though, yeah, because you fucking stain my dress. Arara, 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 arara. Okay, okay, the big sister's actually kind of a good person. She stayed up all night, adjusting the road, just because she... Well, she still fucked it up in the beginning, okay? That only happened because she fucked it up in the beginning. <laughs> Can I have a little bit more Araras, please? We're not getting enough today. Look at that sheer size. The absolute magnitude. Holy, now this is a beef eater! Okay. What? This guy sus! This guy sus! Stole the research. What do we steal? Did we steal something? Did we take something? This guy... He's not our master, right? And the implication here is that what if we stole someone's stole research? This guy is not our master and it makes no sense that we would steal our master's research, right? Totally separate old character, right? So they convinced this old guy that Lele stole your research? Oh, Rory's ready to go too. No, it is your fault. I don't even know you! Jealous. Jealous. Old and jealous. I'm just gonna assume Piper also deceived him by saying that Lele stole his work when Lele did never anything like that. Who the fuck is this person? <sighs> Saving my wife is just the husband's duty. Head pants, head pants. Okay. Alright, here we go. He's stuttering. He said, erm, um, and thus, it's already over. People are already here, like, you're a fucking fraud. Get off the fucking stage. Fucking throw. What do they throw? They throw, they throw ink or something, right? And they basically try to egg the person to uh, stain their outfit. And they have to wear it forever. Or at least here for... Uh, I'm not sure if it's forever. They have to wear it for a long time. For like, it's like a shame. Oil and paint or some shit? Oil and ink? <laughs> bald! I don't know who Mokuri is, but I guess Mokuri theory is also bald. Yo, they got fucking water balloons ready. They, they were fucking ready with these fucking, not water balloons, they're like oil or ink balloons. You stupid child. Damn. Holy shit, they're so mean! Failure! <laughs> Mommy. Alright, good luck, Lele. She'll be fine. I think Lele will be fine. Boom! Oh, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> Every, bro, that guy, he fucking was ready. He was like, oh, and then everyone else was like, I was like, ah, ah, shit, I can't fucking throw. I'm just here to fucking throw the balloons. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> What up, Lele? Is the Piper around? Is Piper piping? That's a huge audience. Cloaked man, that stands up. Girl, that's the Noran girl, Nonran or something. Uh oh, these fucking idiots. These fucking idiots! These three are so stupid! Good call, Itami. Good call. Oh. Oh shit! Hollow purple, Lele! Hollow purple! What the fuck? Other masters? This rock! The colors! That's arpeggio! It's a sister! It's the color rock we saw in the duel! You're right! Alright, big sister. Maybe I'm shitting on the big sister too early. She's kind of clutching in today's episode. She was fucking annoying and rude and insecure last episodes, but it was part of the running gag. She stayed up all night, 
making sure that her robe was gonna be ready. And now she's saving us. All right, arpeggio dub. <laughs> Everybody, wait, it's not our pitch. This is what I was going to say before. I was like, did everyone fucking get ready for this? It was not arpeggio. Fuck you. Fuck every one of you. Fuck every one of you. The color was correct. But before I jumped to arpeggio, I thought, oh shit, was the other masters ready for this? And they're so serious about this, you know, PhD dissertation that they wouldn't let any intruders attack. But then I saw the colors of the rocks and I was like, hold up, arpeggio. Cause you know, that's what we were doing, the mineral rocks and she was doing colorful rainbow magic. And then it's not her. So still, L sister, L arpeggio. <laughs> now we probably will never get that. But like imagine this is foreshadowing into the future where the SDF has modern weapons and magic. Chick, not that we could learn magic. I don't know how that would work, but you know, that'd be kind of crazy. Suzuki, Arpeggio. Arara? Oh, it's Shanda. Wait! Wait! Why can't we see her eyes? Wait! Is this Piper? What's going on? How though? How? No! I don't see blood. I don't see blood. I don't see blood. I don't think that it really went through, right? It was a stab. I think she got protected by something. But Shandi, how the fuck? It looks like she got possessed there if you look at her eyes. It's all empty, right? Unless she was the pipe roll? That makes no sense. Ah, oh, it's the three idiots, bro. What? Special region deployment army. Okay, we're basically at the army and people, Japan. Mm. Mm. Very impatient guy. Are we ready? We have the orders. It's coming. It's coming. It's so close. Last episode, they said they're going to do it, right? J Palace still holding? お、手際立たせ役に。それも女子供と老人ばかりだというのかしら。ゆうこんでる。気を抜か。申し訳ありません。疎外に低く。私は言い訳を聞きに来たのではありません。ブリミーリゾルト。ゾロゾロ伝家
it's probably her blind uh what's the word she probably thinks that all roles are just shit she just hates everybody so she wants everyone to suffer what is this idiot doing <laughs> what is this fucking idiot doing dude okay lele no blood easy wait she wasn't possessed so like it, I thought that she was like possessed or something, but she's act she's voice acting like she's normal. I can't believe I said that today's the episode where I said that she looked good. Cause like even in the past episodes, I was like, I didn't really know her name, so I was like, she's kind of funny. But today's the episode where I was like, oh, I kind of like this character, and it's like, boom, she's the fucking assassin. Cause you guys told me to. Why are you pouting like this is a little, you know, minor inconvenience, bro? You're a fucking criminal. Oh, we skipped the lately presentation thing. What the fuck? It was like in uh. I think season one, opening one. In the opening visuals, you get to actually see Lele give a presentation on like a podium. And I thought that's what this is gonna be, but they just fucking skipped it. So we never actually got to see the presentation. It was just in the opening. I mean, it's like, what the fuck would I know about the presentation? You know? Like, what the fuck would we know about her giving a fucking in depth analysis on whatever study she's doing? We wouldn't fucking know. That's why they were just like, you know, showing the other presenters like the last couple sentences before people threw oil or ink or like you know started clap for them oh was that the interview my bad that was when we went to japan for that my bad this piper plot line is getting more thick she's acting so cute right now but yo what the fuck y'all side did that like what do you mean are you that dumb even i this is like kind of funny though you know Cause like, even now, she's like all acting cute and dumb and funny, but I don't know- <laughs> Idiot! Damn, Lolly Mercury! You better have a good fucking excuse. <sighs> so what the Piper says, if you fucking kill Lele, I will somehow free Pina? And she's stupid enough to believe it, cause she's an idiot. So like... I guess it's believable, yeah. That's what I don't understand. Because I thought that Lele being like an imperial citizen helps their cause somehow and makes them look better. That's why they were trying to summon Lele here. But they're like, nah, we just want to fucking kill her. So it's like, okay. I mean, last episode, the episode before that, I was also questioning that. I thought that Zosa really wanted to use Lele's influence. But it's like, no. Pretty much. No, you were tricked. What do you mean? Yeah, but how do you expect Piper to fucking help you with that? So is this really the only... This is the first time we're hearing about this, huh? Because Itami and them, we have no clue what the fuck's going on outside here. Because we're doing our little own uh, side quest. And now Shandi is now basically informing us, hey... All this shit's going down, and that's why I was doing this. Look how dirty that candle is, too, man. I mean, you still try to kill Lele, but I get it. I understand. We need to go there right now. No, 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 shut the fuck up. We don't need to do that. We can save Pina without killing Lele. Yeah, what's Captain gonna do against these girls? Bro peeked one look at Roy Mercury's halberd and was like, you know what? This is above my pay grade. True, that's what I'm saying. So? Yeah, let's do that. Kuribayashi should get in there again and beat the shit out of Zozal. We haven't seen Kuribayashi in a long time. Same with Kurokawa. Bridge repaired. Uh, messenger. She's gonna get executed. Uh oh. Yo, did we get the order yet? What are we doing? Go, 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 go! Finally, bro. We've been waiting for this fucking forever. But here's the thing, right? 
the whole the the peak the the entertainment value that you get from gate is by watching the power fantasy of modern military mowing down these fucking medieval barbarians but you can't have that every fucking episode and i noticed that in season one they gave us a little bit but then after that we had to back off and there were some political reasons as to why we couldn't go in but it's also for the author to not show them off every time right we need to have like a good moment so finally we've been biding our time we going in <laughs> Prince Zolzal and them, they got so fucking lucky with the politics happen outside the gate. And that's the episode and I jinxed myself when I said in the intro of this video, I said finally we got the orders to go in. Well, not really, basically. Outside the gate, the Japanese politicians were getting ready. But now today's episode, we finally got the orders within the gate to go in. Thank fucking God. Some of the other things that was happening to this episode, I got fucking tricked. Everyone got tricked by her I, how could i i thought she was just acting dumb but she wasn't acting dumb she is dumb but she still was the assassin and it was like god fucking damn at the end of the day she was doing it for princess pina right so it's like i can still get mad at her because you fucking stabbed lily still i don't know how to feel about her because last couple episodes she's very cute her pouts are cute her mannerism fidgeting very cute, but at the same time, he tried to fucking stab Lele. I don't fucking know, man. I think Lele and her should have a fucking fight. Arpeggio did not save Lele, but she did stay up all night making the fucking robe or something. She makes sure that Lele has an outfit ready, so I guess a little bit of a dub. More ah da 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 The scene, bro, this scene where people were throwing fucking oil balloons at these people were fucking funny as fuck, dude. It's like, boo, get the fuck out of here. Mom! He just starts fucking running away. It's so funny how they were all so ready with the, you know, not the water balloons, but the oil balloons. And finally, Pina is under the order. She's been imprisoned, and Prince Zolzal, I guess, sees Pina as like. I don't even know how he see. I don't even know how he sees her. It's because she won't completely like a uh, uh, pledge her allegiance, right? And she, she's kind of getting in his way. Zolzal has no fucking brains. He has no idea what he's doing. And Tyrion is just fucking driving Zolzal like a fucking go kart, running this empire to the fucking ground. But hey, I think it's about time that Japan shows up and actually puts this goddamn empire to the ground. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.